We are the people. Hello, sirs. A piece of news is stirring up the Rangers backstage, and you cannot miss out on this. Look at this, fans, nobody saw this coming. A bombshell news has just been confirmed, and I'm bringing it to you firsthand. I just ask that you leave a like on this video, and in return, I will keep you updated every day with the latest Rangers news. Thank you, and let's get to the important part. The Rangers face a delicate situation in the transfer market, with recent reports indicating that signing Abdullah Saima from Brighton will only be possible if other players are sold. Reliable sources from Football Insider have revealed that the club cannot afford significant signings at the moment due to its complicated financial position. During the latest episode of Football Insider's Inside Track podcast, senior correspondent Peter Rourke explained that, despite interest in Saima, the Rangers' financial reality prevents any significant moves in the transfer market. This development comes after revelations that both James Taverney and Connor Goldson could be sold to raise funds as both have attracted interest from other clubs. However, Brighton's asking price of around £7 million is still considered too high for Rangers. Sources with knowledge of the situation have described this news as a huge blow for Philippe Clement and his team, especially considering the impact Saima had during his loan spell last season. Abdullah Saima was one of the few signings that truly made a difference last season, scoring 16 goals in 39 appearances. Injuries towards the end of his loan period affected his time at the club, but both he and Rangers have shown interest in a return for the next season. On 1 July, Football Insider reported that Saima is willing to push for a return to Ibrox after Brighton closed deals to sign two new strikers. However, Rangers' financial situation does not allow for this negotiation at the moment. Although Brighton has reduced the asking price due to Rangers' interest, the Glasgow club will still need to raise funds to meet the fee. Philippe Clement recently stated that all Ibrox players are for sale at the right price this summer, except for Jack Butland. Some suggest his statements might be a strategy to pressure the board to support him in the transfer market, but the situation looks bleak. Rangers fans, the situation with Abdullah Saima reflects the financial challenge our club faces. With the possible sale of important players like Tavani and Goldson, do you think we should make this sacrifice to bring Saima back? Is his presence worth the financial risk? Leave your comment below and join this discussion. Your support and opinion are crucial for the future of Rangers. Let's overcome these challenges together with passion and determination.